I always had a strong gravitation towards math and science. I'm really interested in the environment and how we interact with it. I've always wanted to build things. I didn't necessarily think I was going to do district energy. I had a focus in infrastructure is what Marilyn calls it. So I was thinking more structural leaning, but I had interned with RMF and realized that that was the direction that I wanted to go with my career. It's district energy, the technology is here. We know how to use it and it's effective now. I thought I was really primarily just as involved with running utilities, but it is much, it is part of a much, much larger picture. With underground utilities, we work on chilled water, or hot water, or steam, or electric duct bank, or telecom. So there's a wide variety of projects that we can work on. If you are more interested in going green and, and pushing environmental policy and those things, but still have an inkling for engineering, there is a lot of overlap there too, and you can get into the district energy side of things. When we were looking for interns for the summer with RMF, a lot of the interest that we got from them was because of sustainability. That's a big focus for them. They know that it's an issue going forward and it's something they're really interested in. It's a really exciting industry to be a part of and get to see and I'm very excited, hoping I have a future in it. I would say that there's a lot of opportunity in it. Just from the presentations I've listened to today, it's a hot topic, it's up and coming and there's a lot of focus and money going into it so there's a lot of ways you can use engineering to apply that and go further with it.